Hi, I'm Sid. I'm a senior at Lawrence High School. And uh, so, yeah, we've heard a lot of talks so far about inspirational stories like, you know, trips and apps and artistic inspiration and all that fun stuff, you know, stories about, you know, single events or, yes, multiple events that have inspired people. But um, I actually have a question for everyone. Um, how many of you feel like you've had one, like, life-changing experience so far in your life? Raise your hands. So, like, half the room, I'd say. So, it's fine, because to the people who didn't raise their hands, because I don't feel like I have either, okay? I feel like most, like about half the people like this room showed have gone through some sort of life-changing, inspirational moment, and half of us haven't, and that's okay. Um, but the thing is, we need to find inspiration in everyday things, because we can't just wait for some sort of life-changing, inspirational event to take place to find our inspiration, right? So. The thing is, though, everyday life can be pretty inspiring, too. Like, for one example, my phone. Um, phones are pretty cool when you think about it, especially with, like, generational context. I feel like a lot of young people my age don't really understand how cool iPhones are or, like, smartphones. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you have a supercomputer that you can fit in the palm of your hand now. And 50, 60 years ago, a computer would be the size of this entire stage, and they would have nowhere near the computing power of a modern iPhone. I mean, the computers that landed uh, men on the moon were not as powerful as even an Apple Watch today. So I think that's pretty inspiring just to think about that. But there's other uh, sources of everyday inspiration you can look to. Um, for example, uh, I'm a big fan of something called the butterfly effect. Now, that's both a song, which I'm a fan of, but it's also a uh, part of chaos theory, <laughs> um, which states that a minute localized change in a complex system can result in major changes down the line in the future. So you might be wondering what that has to do with inspiration, which would be understandable. And uh, so I use that as inspiration for how I act in my everyday life. Because if you think about it, a small, like every interact, a lot of people, they think that, you know, I'm not famous, I'm not a genius, I'm not rich. So my actions don't really matter that much. But if you think about it, you act, you, on any given day, you interact with a lot of different people, right? So maybe one of them is rich, famous, or a genius, or whatever. And the way that you interact with people, it can have a major impact on them, right? Positive or negative, you know? And I think it's, uh, it's a testament to, you have to use that fact as a reason why you should act positively, I'm kind of rambling. One positive conversation with someone can completely change their day. That's happened to me before where I'm having a bad day, I talk to one of my friends, they make me laugh, and suddenly my day's not so bad. So I try to be that person for everyone that I talk to or interact with. And I think it's important that, you know, you try to see the positive in the world and um, not solely focus on the negative because Obviously, you can't ignore negative things because they're important to acknowledge and not be ignorant of. But um, you also need to focus on positive things as well because you know there's a lot of ugly ugliness, negativity, and fear in the world. But there's also a lot of hope, love, and uh, what was the other one? <laughs> hope, love, inspiration. And um, you know, there's two main things that inspire people: it's love or fear. And uh, I think more people need to start acting out of love than fear. And, um, you know, obviously that's very general advice, so you might be wondering, how can I do that? And uh, it's simple. I mean, it's small things, like asking people how their day is, or, you know, if your friend just got a new job, asking them how that is, or asking them about their weekends. Because, see, the reason why people don't think people, why they don't talk about their problems or whatever is because they think people don't care. And you need to show people that you care about, that you do care about them, and you know, people that you love, show them that you love them. And uh, yeah, um, so if you have one takeaway from this talk, I guess it's to be the positive change you want to see in the world and uh, spread love and positivity.
Yeah. Um, so that's all. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs>